Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you the Hyrudos, or I think that's how you pronounce it. Hyrudo. Hyrudo. Something like that. Well, uh, these are uh, melee fist weapons that actually heal every time you punch, at least when it crits. Every time you crit, it heals you for a certain amount. It actually works extremely well. This is actually one of my favorite melee weapons because of the fact that you don't have to use life strike in the build. So uh, let me show you what I'm working with with my mods here. So uh, the first thing you must have if you want this build to work is Grim Fury. The other one is, let me see what it was, Brutal Tide that I was using is garbage because it has like these long winded like spin attacks and all sorts of things. He tries to get all fancy with it. It's bullshit. It costs a lot of time for you to be doing all these fancy animations and you're not beating up the mob. So. Grim Fury, it pretty much makes you like a boxer. So you're just constantly just like swiping really fast. And uh, to make that even faster, I'm running Berserk. So Berserk crits like crazy. I mean, it, it, it happens like crazy because of the crit. And uh, the, the crit chance is actually really low on this weapon. It's only at 15%. But you can actually pick that up by using a Blood Rush. So uh, this actually works off a combo multiplier. So the more you're racking up your combo multiplier, you're going to be getting more crit chance. So that can easily go up to 50% or even higher, depending on how high you get that crit multiplier. So um, for crit multiplier, I'm also running a Weeping Wounds, which gives you status chance. So this pretty much this works the same way like Blood Rush, where the more your combo count counter goes up, the more uh, status chance you're actually building up. And then um, I'm running a condition overload. So this is also for status. That's why Weeping Wounds works excellent with this. Because you're pretty much making every little status that you stack on a mob increase your damage by 60%. So each status that's on the enemy is going to give you 60% more damage. So in this case, I have four statuses that could proc with this weapon. Impact, Puncture, Slash, and Corrosive. So all of these, when they all stack together, you can easily get it up to two, over 200% increase in damage because of all these things that are happening. So the more you're going to be beating up the mob, the, the, the faster they're going to be dying. Pretty much is how it works. Um, using pressure point for the melee damage, which I think I have a primed one. Yep, I do have a primed one, so I can slap it in there. There it goes. Uh, I'm using a folk Voltanic Strike, so this is for electric and status chance. The, the the status chance increase, it's really low because this weapon is just really terrible with status and crit chance. I don't understand why they made it so bad, especially since this weapon is like primarily uh, working off a of crit chance to heal yourself. But it's, it's whatever because these uh, Weeping Wounds and also the Blood Rush fixes that problem. Um, so I'm also using a Virgilant Scourge, so this is for the Toxic, that gives me the Corrosive right there. And then Drifting Contact is really important because this is going to keep your combo multiplier going. So uh, it also gives you status chance, but it's whatever, it's, it's bullshit. You don't even care about that because the status is already extremely low. So let me show you a little bit of the stats here on the, on the weapon. Uh, so crit chance is at 15% base, it's really terrible, I know, but don't worry about it. Same with status, 13% chance. It's really terrible. Um, but the Blood Rush and Weeping Wounds will fix that. So don't worry about that. Uh, so the, the main thing I wanted was Corrosive on there. You can choose whatever kind of uh, status you want to run. If you want to do a Viral or you want to do something else that has to do with uh, like a mob type. But uh, I usually run with Corrosive all the time because I usually fight Grenier a lot. And at the same time, I mean, ripping... A mob's armor apart is, I feel like, the most beneficial thing to do in this game versus uh, any other kind of status. Other than uh, viral. I like viral a lot, too. So if you could stack viral with corrosive, that would be, like, insane. But a lot of times you can't. It makes it really difficult to do that. But, yeah, that's the, the build right there. So we're going to jump into a mission. I'm going to show you what that's like. And I'm using Atlas. Atlas is awesome for, for melee. So let's jump into it. All right, so I just made it into a mission. This is uh, an uh, exterminate mission on Pluto. Just something a little bit different, and I'm fighting Corpus. So uh, 
Usually with these weapons, the, the coolest part about this is that it's extremely fast to begin with. So I'm just going to be clicking like crazy and you can see like it's very fast. You don't want to worry about trying to uh, pull off some combos because it's it's going to get to the point when Berserker is going to make it insane, like off the chain too fast. So un unless you got lightning reflexes with your clicks, I don't know. But um, I feel like it's not worth it. That's why I'm running this this uh, this mod because it just makes it extremely fast. So let's build that combo multiplier so you can see what the damage is like because it gets insane. The damage just keeps stacking and then also the crit chance goes higher. So you'll see it critting pretty much all the time eventually when you start stacking up that crit multiplier. Uh, but that's why it's really good to be running uh, a combo multiplier um, like drift drifting contact or something just to kind of keep it and, and also body count works really well to, to keep the combo counter going longer that way you don't have to worry about the the combo counter like dropping instantly as soon as like three seconds usually is what it lasts so that's pretty terrible but um I'm just gonna run through this mission you see it's still even with a 15 percent chance to crit it still crits a lot and as you can see it's already healing me and it actually stacks uh, the type of healing that it's going to be doing so the healing would actually go up higher I thought that that was like a regen over time but it doesn't work like that it's it's like uh, you see it's up to five times now so pretty much the healing is going to be five times stronger than it was when I started doing this so if you can keep that going then you pretty much have like unlimited health as long as you're beating the shit out of things so let me see I'm trying to take damage so you can see the actual healing ability but um, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> as long as you're always fighting, then you pretty much have unlimited health. As long as you don't put yourself in a crazy situation. But let's see. I'm trying to find a mob. Everything's hiding around here. There we go. There's somebody here. I'll let them shoot me up a bit so that I can get my health down. Go ahead. Try your best. See, my health is getting down a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to start punching things. I have to build my combo multiplier again so I can start critting. Because uh, the crit chance is just so low in the beginning until you start racking up that combo multiplier. Alright. These flying things are annoying. Let's see if we can find something that actually is on the ground. There we go. Now watch my health. Just flew right up. Like it didn't even... It took like no time to get it back up. And as you see the, the crits just... It pretty much happens like constant. It's like all the time almost. See, every time I punch them, it's always a crit. And it's because of that uh, that blood rush. So blood rush is awesome. It's definitely a must-have mod. And uh, also the, the one for status chance is really important too. Because it's gonna make it give it to the point where that uh, that damage increaser mod, I forgot the name of it. It, uh, it makes it so that each status it just like completely obliterates mobs like it just makes it so easy all right finally found some more mobs it took me a while to get through this let me get through this bubble here you could even rip the bubbles apart just by punching like crazy and as, as you can see with the berserker it just it, it makes your swipe so ridiculously fast that's what I'm saying like it's, it's pretty much impossible to pull off a, a, an actual like timed combo because it's just way way too fast so I just click like a maniac and that's it that's why I like the the Grim Fury mod because it just uh, it makes it more like a boxing stance like it's just look at this just keep doing this all day <laughs> just walk through the map like this it's awesome I really like it see watch I'm gonna rip that bubble apart you see so it, uh, you could even jump into the bubble if you want or whatever. Like you have also this little swipe thing where if you do the the crouch and punch, like it does like a, a somersault kick thing. Um, the only downside with this is just like the the range of it is really small. So you have to be really precise with the the hit like this. You see, then it works really well and it actually does really nice damage. But what's up with this door? Let me see if we can get this open here. Override successful. Oh, by the way, I will be doing a build on uh, on Atlas. Uh, most likely tomorrow, I'll be posting that one. But um, yeah, I was still working on the build and trying to figure out like what I liked, what I like to set up with him. 
And it took some time to get me to to actually find an, a decent build for him. Cause he's he's very different than other Warframes. He's not like the the typical slot him with damage or range or whatever. He's he's very different. Okay, we're pretty much almost done with this mission. Oh, get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> this is always this is like so much fun. I love these these weapons. It's just it's so sick. Look at it. And like I said before, um, the range is pretty terrible. And even if you did a prime reach on it, it still wouldn't help. I I tried to see if that would do anything, and it doesn't. So don't even bother. We're trying to do range on this because it just doesn't benefit at all. Oh, but that's it. Mission complete. All right. Well, that's the end of the mission. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you on the next one. Later.